Hey guys, welcome back to High Yield Intraday Trading. I hope every one of you is doing good. So before we start discussing today's topic, let me request you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button here. Once you click on it, you will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner. Post you subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to press the bell icon and click on all. You will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner so that whenever I upload a video, you get the notification about the same without any messes. Also, I would request you all to subscribe to my telegram channel with the name HYIT intraday calls because I share a lot of things over there and it might be helpful to you in some way or the other all right so there's always a right way of doing the things right or I would say uh, there is always a right way of implementing the things especially when it comes to day trading it becomes absolutely necessary for a trader to know what exactly is he doing and more importantly how is he doing that particular thing okay now having that said there are many many things that needs to be done by a trader especially a day trader while trading but one of the most important things that we need to be aware about is how do we deploy the capital that we have, right? In other words, what I mean to say is if a trader has a capital of, let's say, 1 lakh rupees, for example, and if he wants to uh, take up a trade on some of the stocks, then how should he go for it? Okay, so in this video, guys, we are going to talk about this very topic and I would hope that it will surely be helpful for many of you. And please be noted that whatever pointers I'm going to give here will hold good for the equity cash segment only. Okay, because in this particular segment, we don't deal with lots. The way we deal with lots in the futures segment, in the equity cash segment, we don't trade in lots. Okay, if we want, or I would say if somebody wants, he can even buy or, buy or sell just one share. Okay, there is no necessity to trade in lots. Okay, so first thing first, if you are into trading, you should not be concerned about having a huge or a big capital just have a decent capital so that you know how to manage money first and then slowly when you start making money you can increase your capital okay i mean uh, I'm, I'm mentioning this point because most of the traders the new traders they take this thing very seriously that if they don't have a lot of money then they can't learn trading okay now this is an absolute blunder to think in that particular way okay because please remember that you are in the learning phase and while you are learning something you need to keep it small and steady okay so I hope you get the point now coming to the first pointer as I said let's say you have a capital of 1 lakh rupees and you want to trade some stocks so the first thing that you need to take into consideration is that you should not be deploying the entire 1 lakh rupees in a single trade okay that would be the worst thing that you can think of doing like if we take the example of how the market is falling these days I am not talking about today's market because today's market was uh, absolutely bullish okay uh, in general I'm speaking in general wherein the market was falling since the last many days okay most of the new traders would be in a mood to earn the max and how can they earn more money they can earn more only by deploying more capital okay so what they will do uh, what they will do is they will use the entire capital in a single trade now the question is who can guarantee that the stock which that particular guy is trading will move according to his expectation right if he is thinking that this stock will go up who will guarantee that that stock will go up for the day or if he is expecting that this particular stock will fall then who will guarantee that that stock will surely fall for that particular day nobody right so if he puts all his capital in a single trade and if the trade goes wrong then the loss would be more okay now again if you face a loss 
with a big capital with the uh, without following the position sizing and stuff like that the only thing that you will get out of the market is loss okay and that will again uh, have reverse effects in many ways okay like you will get demotivated you will get into revenge trading and all those stuffs will happen so it's always better to get away from all those things okay to stay away from all those negativities okay so it becomes really important to divide your capital and deploy them in different trades okay so if you have 1 lakh rupees then divide it into 3 to 4 parts and then take up 3 to 4 different trades now by doing this you are increasing your chances of winning and decreasing your chances of getting badly hit okay also as we all know that trading is a game of probabilities so by taking up multiple trades you are making sure that if you are facing a loss in one trade then the other trade can nullify that particular loss that you are having in the first trade okay and by moving in your uh, i mean by moving in your anticipated direction okay in this and this is exactly how you should be trading divide your capital and follow position sizing in every trade that you take okay now if you want to have uh, more idea on position sizing if you want to know what exactly is position sizing and how important it is to be followed uh, when you are trading uh, i already ha have made a video in regards to position sizing please feel free to search that video in my youtube channel and you can go through it to know what exactly is position uh, position sizing and how exactly do you make use of it while trading okay now coming to the second point let's say that you have deployed all your capital in a single trade and that trade is going against you but at the same time you see another trade that matches your technicals and has a strong chance of moving in your anticipated direction so in such a scenario or in such cases you are stuck because your entire capital is already engaged in the first trade itself right but at the other hand if you would have divided your capital and if you would have some capital as a buffer then in such a situation you can easily deploy the leftover capital in the second trade that has more chances of winning okay so this is called manipulation of trades you need to learn how to manipulate your trades using the using the capital that you have okay i hope you are getting the point that i want to convey here okay another thing that i would like to bring into your uh, to your notice is that uh just a moment uh, let me just check if i'm missing on something uh no we are all good okay so what i was saying was another thing that i would like to bring to your notice is that when you put all your capital in a single trade you tend to panic if things start going against you if you have traded ever i'm sure you would have surely faced that panic moment okay so why to unnecessarily take that particular tension trading should be all about not taking up the heat and the good thing is we have ways to trade without triggering the panic button so why don't we follow the right things and trade well i hope that makes sense right so these are some of the points that i want to share so that you can follow them and trade seamlessly okay see profits and losses will be there but the most important thing that needs to be taken care is the process if you follow the right process no matter what ultimately you will see yourself in the profit zone okay and the losses that you will make or the losses that you will incur will be much smaller than the profits that you will make okay so trade sensibly and stick to the process all right so that's it from my end guys and for the guys who have not watched my previous video i have put in the video card on the top right corner of this video the i symbol that you see there you can click on it and watch my previous video and as always would request you all to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also please do not miss the ending of this video as you will get some more information about hyit that might be helpful to you in some way or the other and please feel free to ask your questions or queries if any in the comment section and i will surely reply back to them and also also please do not forget to like this video if you liked it okay so that's all from my end and i will see you all later hope you all will stick back happy trading and take care of yourselves bye bye